Welcome back to the 75 gallon mix reef aquarium. My name is Jason and just want to do a quick uh, video. Start off with the in and mine. Quick shot. The pumps are on. Apologize for that. But I added some old Fiji rock after gluing it to some magnets that I had laying around. And so this rock used to be live rock. It has completely dried out. And so I'm running out of space, looking at potentially getting a larger tank, uh, like a 140 or 150 type size tank. Um, and so this is what the 75 gallon looks like as soon as the lights come on. Um, I have a 10 and a half hour, 10 hour um, in between, slightly in between 10 and 10 and a half hour lighting schedule. And so the lights come on midday and a lot of the things are closed up. You can see a lot of the leather corals, the GSP, um, the Ghanis, uh, the mushrooms are all um, shrunken. Leather corals are all folded over. The Kenya tree is pretty much closed up. And by me adding this new rock into the system, I still get algae from it, right? I have, um, I used to run Marine Pur, got rid of those um, personal reasons, and then switched them out for, let's see, there's three liters of Ciparex in the system. And of course, I run a refugium with basically three lights, one of them is a Kessel. Um, H160 and the other two are the CFL uh, bulbs by Cree. Um, so I'm thinking about eventually taking those off and going strictly with the Kessel. Uh, but I get good response from the Cheetah Morpha running all three lights. One of the lights is on the side. Um, I'll do a video on that probably in the future. But the main point of this video is to show that even though um, there's no other algae in my system because I put this new rock in um, and I have a tang. I have um, mainly um, uh, blue-legged hermit crabs and then, of course, some snails. I'm still going to get algae on this. Um, it's still going to go through that seasoning period. Um, that rock has not been cycled. It wasn't sitting in the sump. Um, and so as soon as the light hits it, you know, the system's going to do its thing. And I'll be adding a couple more rocks like that, getting them ready, hopefully for a larger system. Also making some frat racks. Um, I'm looking to probably chop up one of the trumpet corals that has grown into a large colony. So thanks for watching. Till next time.